everyone welcome back to my channel today i thought i would do a speedy review of this peter thomas roth pumpkin enzyme mask this review is well overdue i've been using this mask for about three years now and it's not very often that when i first purchase a product i use it and instantly i am like wow i love it and i will always love it this was definitely one of those products i think i reviewed this on the blog about three years ago and I often mention it on my insta stories but I just can't get enough of this mask in the past three years um I've finished one <laughs> I've literally just finished this one and I've repurchased a second one and this did last me three years because obviously in that space of time um I've been sent other products to review I've often bought new masks that are like new to the market to try out and some I love some I hate but there is just nothing quite like this mask and I always come back to it like I'm absolutely absolutely obsessed with it and I figured that it was just about time that I let you guys know because like I said this is well overdue I don't know what I've been playing at <laughs> so this mask it, it's a bit funny because it retails for like between 35 and 50 pounds some websites I think most websites are about 35 pounds although sometimes it is 50 and um, I will leave a link for it down below because the site that I bought it on and I can't remember which one it was often has discount codes too and free delivery which I hate paying for delivery if you know me so do keep an eye out for that and check out the link below so yeah I definitely didn't pay more than 35 pounds for this and this is what the mask looks like it comes in this plastic um container and it is 150 mil it's by a brand called peter thomas roth which when i first purchased it i bought it in madrid because it was only available in sephora and so when i went to madrid i purchased it there um the brand is now available in the uk mostly online but they sell it in selfridges as far and i think that's the only place as far as i know but yeah this is a fruit enzyme mask so so it says it's an enzymatic dermal resurfacer and it claims to do three things intensive skin resurfacer mask which exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme it does do that tick <laughs> Peels with alpha hydroxy acid, tick. <laughs> Polishes with aluminium oxide, helping to reveal skin that looks smoother, younger, radiant and revitalized. Tick, tick, tick. Like this mask does literally everything that it says it does. And it's not often you find products that do that. So I was very, very impressed. So yeah, like I said, it is a little bit of an investment, but I just feel like not enough people like know about this mask and I guess you might be a little hesitant to try it because of it's like pretty high price tag but I I swear to you it is worth it so there are two ways to use this mask you cleanse your skin and everything is normal and on damp skin you can massage it in as you would like a cleanser if you're feeling brave and <laughs> um, you massage it into the skin and that sort of really gets the aluminium oxide going and exfoliates the skin and once you've massaged it into the skin you let it sit for three to seven minutes now this is definitely a mask that you need to time so unlike a sheet mask that you can stick on your face and keep on for you know 14 days and it's fine it doesn't do anything this one you definitely have to like keep an eye out for the time the first time you use it depending on the condition of your skin you will really feel the mask on your skin it can be slightly uncomfortable it will sting it shouldn't really burn but you will definitely notice it so if you've ever used anything that's like a fruit enzyme mask, anything with AHAs in it before, you will know that it can feel quite uncomfortable. If you feel like it's far too uncomfortable and it's burning your skin, then definitely wash it off straight away. Um, it shouldn't feel... There's like a fine line between uncomfortable but not peeling off the top layer of my skin. So just keep an eye out for that. And at first you definitely will want to sort of stick to the three minute mark and you can build it up gradually as you go along. So yeah, like I said, the first way is to just massage it into the skin if you're feeling brave. The second way is you can just use like a foundation brush and just apply it onto the skin as you would like a clay mask, for example. And again, you leave it on for three to seven minutes. I guess I'd say you need a bit of a high pain threshold for the first time you use this mask just because like i said the first time you use it it will kind of burn and sting a little bit but you do get used to it and in fact these days like obviously i've been using it for three years these days when i put it on i sometimes don't even feel anything so it kind of depends on how 
good like your skin is in terms of if you haven't exfoliated in like 19 years it might hurt a bit more than if you exfoliated last week you know so yeah it can obviously vary depending on like your skin and like who you are and how high your pain threshold is first time i did use it and i took it off i literally just got like a flannel wet it under hot water and use the warm flannel just to sort of take it off my face and then just splash cold water over it and my skin did have kind of like a warming sensation it felt like i was burning up a little bit almost like when you drink a shot of whiskey or brandy or something that kind of keeps you warm my skin did feel very warm and it was a little bit red however i tend to do this mask at night just before i go to bed or in the evenings and by the morning the redness had completely gone and my skin just looked incredible like i cannot explain to you how good it looked like it is instance if you have a special occasion coming up like a wedding that you're attending your graduation or even if you're getting married although if you're getting married try it out ages in advance but if you have a special occasion coming up this mask will keep that glow on your face for a minimum of three days and that's what i love about it you just put it on once and you're just done i tend to always just massage it into my skin and i just love that the i have an instant glow my blackheads appear like visibly reduced i don't really have like that many pores to my skin sometimes i do have a few and they just look a lot clearer once i've used this mask so i just love that and my complexion just feels like it's i almost feel like i've had like microderm abrasion done and i've been to the salon and paid loads for it and it's just such a great feeling the only thing i will say is because this mask contains ahas you need to make sure that you wear spf i mean obviously you should be wearing spf all the time but the day after you apply it and for the few days after it you have to be extra careful because you don't want to like burn your skin and that's not just if you do it in the summer whether you do it on christmas day or the hottest day of the year or it's winter outside or whatever you need to wear spf the following day but yeah i can't think of anything else to add to this obviously i've just finished one and this one lasts me three years but I wasn't using it consistently because I was trying out other products in the meantime so this will definitely last me at least a year if not a bit longer um the only con for me because obviously nothing is ever perfect but the only slight negative for me is the scent of it so it's a pumpkin enzyme mask and it literally smells of a pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks it's like cinnamony pumpkiny it's got all like the autumnal vibes mm, and i'm not really a fan of that um it's just not really for me but the way i see it is do i put up with a scent that i don't like for three to seven minutes for amazing skin for the next three days or do i just not use a product because i'm not a fan of the scent so yeah i can definitely overlook the fact that the scent isn't for me but obviously that's just a personal preference i just feel like not enough people have heard or heard of peter thomas roth or use peter thomas roth especially in the uk because when i first bought this in madrid it wasn't available in the uk but yeah um let me know if you've tried anything else from this brand i've tried a few other masks but for me this is definitely the star of the show nothing else quite lives up to this um, and let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to review but i really hope you found this review helpful if you did then please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon with a new video bye